All right, let's talk about something a bit nerdy but super powerful. Using technology to hack your fast for maximum autophagy. You've probably heard about autophagy, right? It's your body's cellular cleanup crew. Getting rid of old, junky cells to make way for new, healthy ones. It's like a deep clean for your insides. Fasting is one of the best ways to kick this process into high gear. But how do you know if you're actually doing it right? How do you know you're in that sweet spot? That's where technology comes in. First up, let's talk about the basics fasting apps. Think of apps like Zero, Fastic, or Life Fasting Tracker. These are like your personal fasting coach in your pocket. They're not just timers. They help you stay consistent, which is crucial. They'll send you notifications, track your fasting streaks, and show you what's happening in your body at different stages of your fast. Seeing that little graphic change from fat burning to autophagy is incredibly motivating. It gamifies the process, making it way easier to stick with, especially when those hunger pangs hit. So if you're not using one, download one. It's step one. Okay, now let's level up with wearable tech. Your smartwatch or fitness tracker, like an Apple Watch, a Garmin, or an Aura Ring, is a gold mine of data. The key metric to watch here is your heart rate variability, or HRV. HRV is a measure of the variation in time between each heartbeat, and it's a fantastic indicator of your body's stress and recovery levels. Generally, when you're deep into a fast and your body is in a relaxed repair state, your HRV tends to increase. So by tracking your HRV trends, you can get a clue that your body is shifting into that restorative, autophagy-promoting mode. It's not a direct measurement, but it's a powerful piece of the puzzle. Another thing your wearable can track is your sleep. High-quality sleep is when a lot of this cellular repair happens. If your fast is messing with your sleep, you might be pushing too hard. Use your device to monitor your deep sleep and REM cycles. If they're improving along with your fasting routine, that's a great sign you're on the right track. If they're getting worse, it might be a signal to adjust your fasting window or reevaluate your approach. And for the real data nerds out there, let's talk about blood monitoring. This is the most direct way to see what's going on. A continuous glucose monitor, or CGM, is a game changer. It's a small sensor you wear that tracks your blood sugar 24-7. During a fast, you want to see your glucose levels stabilize and drop to a low, steady baseline. This sustained low glucose is a major trigger for autophagy. Seeing your glucose flatline in a healthy range gives you concrete proof that you're in a fasted state. You can also use a simple at-home blood ketone meter. As your glucose drops, your body starts producing ketones for fuel. Rising ketone levels are another strong indicator that you're in a state conducive to autophagy. Measuring your blood ketones once or twice a day during your fast can tell you exactly when you've made that metabolic switch. So you've got the app for consistency, the wearable for HRV and sleep data, and maybe a CGM or ketone meter for hard numbers.